Hello everyone, this is Jared the RPG Lord. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. I am so excited to do this. Eternal Sonata. This is one of my all-time favorite games and I am excited to show it with you all. Alright, let's get started right now. Eternal Sonata. Why? Why did it happen? Why was she destined to die? What crime could a girl like that have possibly committed to deserve such a grim fate? She was only 14. And during those brief 14 years, what did she do? Simply cherish a love of music? and revel in her girlish dreams. I'll never forget her. Even if the cruel passage of time should wear the threads of my memory so thin they break, I will always remember. So, once more, a new journey begins. Emilia. Once again, it all comes to an end. It's lovely to meet you. Or perhaps it would be more fitting to say, welcome back. I must do this. And it's for the person who means the most to me. My life is nothing compared to his. Doing this is easy if it's for him. Thank you, everyone. I know it didn't last very long. But really, this was the best time I've ever had in my life. If I blow him a kiss, I wonder, will it reach him up there? No. I guess it won't. The rippling surface of flowing water transforms the soft light of the morning sun. The beams combine becoming a spotlight that paints the stage. The flowers awaiting the curtain's rise display faces of bright red and brilliant yellow. They turn their ears to listen to the performance that is about to begin. Accompanied by the gentle rhythm of a babbling brook, the birds begin to sing. Meanwhile, a mischievous sea breeze causes a rustling amidst the leaves of the trees, disrupting the concert. 
It is a familiar scene, one that has unfolded every morning since the beginning of time. And even now, the daily overture continues, its delicate, perfect balance never faltering, never changing. In the midst of this joyous orchestration, at the center of the morning's discordant musical performance, lies a small village nestled deep in the wood. The name of the village is Tenudo. It sits atop a hill which overlooks the coastline. In fact, the town is only about four miles from the sea. Tenuto is very lucky in this regard, for the town enjoys a wonderful cool breeze and a view that is nothing short of amazing. And then there are the flowers. They seem to blossom almost everywhere in the town. They paint the landscape with color as far as the eye can see. And they are the reason Tenudo is also known by another name, the Village of Flowers. There is a harbor town at the foot of a hill that can be seen from Tenudo. When night falls, the lights from the town shine like diamonds and open the hearts of those who gaze upon their illustrious splendor. Under normal circumstances, one might expect to find a bustling shopping district for tourists in a village as beautiful as this one. However, no such shops are to be found, not here. In fact, the village is quite calm, almost strangely quiet. It is a place that exudes a peaceful tranquility, a tranquility that further increases its allure, as well as its mystery. in the sea? Well, darling, there are waves because of the moon. Because of the moon? That's right. The moon charms the water in the ocean with its beauty. And because the moon is so beautiful, the seawater just can't sit still. Is that true? Really? Really? Don't you feel your heart start fluttering inside of you when you look at the moon? I do! What about the puddle? Will it make waves when the moon comes out too? No, dear. There's not enough water. You need lots and lots of water, like the ocean, before it can make any real waves. Oh, I see. But that's weird. Why can't a little bit of water make waves too? The amount of water is the most important part of creating waves. That can be said about people as well. There are many things in this world that can charm people's hearts, just like the moon charms the sea. Things like wealth, vanity, status, image, and power. People who are drawn to these things create waves, 
and the fear in their hearts makes the waves grow bigger and stronger. The more people there are, the bigger the waves can become. And as the number of people grows, the waves grow bigger and bigger. It can lead people to start terrible conflicts. This is probably too hard for you to understand. I guess. If something like that ever were to happen, the only way to stop it would be for you to jump into the ocean. Because when you do, those big waves will become calm again. It may be difficult to do, but if you can be very brave, you'll bring joy to the person who means the most to you. Really? Then I'll do it! Really, though, comparing seawater stirred up by the beauty of the moon to the ugly waves created by the effects of human desire is rather an insult to the ocean. He seems to have calmed down, hasn't he, Doctor? He doesn't look like he's in pain the way he did before. It seems as though he must be having a pleasant dream. Yes. Well, that would be nice. It would be even better if that means he's headed towards recovery. A full recovery. It's said that people can have the most peaceful dreams just before they pass on. What are you talking about? How can you say that? I apologize. Hopefully it's just an old wives' tale. Frederick. Chapter 1, Raindrops Mom's probably worried about me. I'd better get home before it gets dark. What an opening, right? Well, we play as Polka. Right here, this is where you can save your game. I will not save my game right now. And just look how beautiful the world is. And this is just like the first part of the first area. Well, uh, let's go up here. The animals that live in the forest around here aren't really very strong, so I should be able to defeat them without too much trouble. But just to be safe, I'll go over the basics of how to fight again. Let's see. The turn order goes from fastest to slowest, right? It looks like it's my turn now. I should try moving around a bit to start with. So let's move around. Until this action gauge runs out of time, I can move around to anywhere I want. The action gauge only decreases when I'm actually doing something, so if I don't know what to do next, I can stop and think about it without losing my turn. Moving around isn't the only thing I can do, I can attack enemies too. This time, I think I'm gonna try using the attack button. Let's attack an enemy. <laughs> now I've got it! I'm starting to remember how to do this more and more! 
There's also one other thing about the action gauge. Every time one of my attacks hits an enemy, the action gauge goes up a little, which means that the more I attack my enemies, the more extra time I'll get to keep on moving and fighting. All right, I think maybe it's time to try attacking. Now let's attack the enemy. Oh, it looks like all the time in the action gauge has run out already. I guess that means my turn is over. I guess I'll just have to wait until it becomes my turn again. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about that. When the next arrow appears overhead like this, it means that my turn will be coming up next. That way I have time to prepare, and I won't be surprised by it suddenly becoming my turn. Okay, it's my turn again. I feel sorry for this little guy, but I guess I'd better finish him off. And let's do that. Oh! Look out! By pressing the guard button when an enemy attacks and this icon appears, I can defend myself. But I have to get the timing just right, so I really need to concentrate. Guarding is essential in this game. And if I want to run away, I press and hold down the L1 and R1 buttons at the same time when it's my turn. But I need to hold down the buttons during my entire turn, so I have to watch for the next arrow. That way I can start holding down the L1 and R1 buttons before my turn even starts and make sure I'm able to get away. I think that pretty much covers all the basics of fighting. Okay, I'm almost done. I just have to keep at it. Now let's fight. Music is really good. And that's the first fight. So if you want to change the settings, you press the triangle button, or I think the Y button on Xbox 360, and you go into options, and you can change the sound. I will change the sound effects to, um, 60%, because they're kind of loud, so, yeah, let's do that. And now, let's keep going. Look at that beautiful ray of light. Look at that beautiful water. And that bridge. Oh look, we have another enemy. I'll do my best. So this game is a hybrid of action and turn base. It's very interesting. It's also my favorite battle system. Okay. It starts off like very simple at first, but um over time it gets a lot more complex and a lot more addicting. It's very fun. And over here, we have a treasure chest. Peach cookie. It restores a thousand HP, I think. Let's see. It does. And to set items to use in battle, you go here, and there, there's already a lot of items set. Um, floral powder. So to use an item in the battle, you scroll with the L1 and R1 buttons, and you press the square to use. You mean you press the square button to use the item? It's very simple. Now let's go. This is the north section of the path to Tenudo, and we have another enemy. I know we can do it. Now we have two enemies. Now let's defeat them. Very easy. Okay, let's try guarding. Oh! A polka wasn't facing the enemy. Yeah, to guard, you have to face the enemy. Very nice. Look at that beautiful background. Frank Rochendo did an amazing job with the graphics, and I'm so excited that I'm doing a Let's Play of this game, because this game is a work of art in terms of, like, graphics, music, and story. Now let's go here. Oh, another enemy. I'll stay quiet for this fight so you can hear the music. I'll do my best. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, you can fight two enemies at once. That's awesome, right? And to heal, you use Orange Glow. I'll probably use it in the next fight. living in Retardando. Why won't any of them buy from me? And now... I see. I guess you don't want to be touched by me either. Come and buy some of Tenuto's famous floral powder. It works very well. Please give it a try. Floral powder? Hmm. I didn't know people still made that. What with the mineral powder we can get these days? Why would anyone need that stuff? Now, I don't mean to be rude, honey, but floral powder just isn't useful anymore. Hmm. I guess no one around here wants to buy it. Hey, what was that for? What's your problem? Uh, but I didn't do anything. Who do you think you're talking to? I, I, huh? I didn't... Uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh. Well, did that help? Does it feel any better? S stay away from me! D d don't touch me! Wow! Did you see that, Mom? She was glowing! Come back here right now! Never go near anyone that glows like that girl did. Do you understand me? But why? Because I said so, that's why. Now come on. Yeah, that's very interesting, right? Using magic in this world is... looked down on. I wonder why. So a new fight, now I will show Orange Glow, and also if we use a move in the dark, we can um, use another move, so maybe I'll try it next, guard, guard, now let's use Shade Comet. Oh yeah, I'll let you shade comment again. Good. Sorry, I didn't do anything. I just didn't realize the time wasn't going down. Okay. Oh, whoa. So that's how much damage an enemy will do, like, if you don't guard. So yeah. Well, this enemy. So you need to guard often. Oh, I dropped my controller. Let me pick it up. Alright, now let's keep going. That's beautiful, right? Another enemy, let's fight it. I know we can do it. Yeah, so the battle system is very fun. I love it. Let's use Shade Comet. Awesome. 
and let's use Orange Glow when this is done. Orange Glow! I restored a good amount of HP, and it's dead. Yeah, sometimes that happens. So beautiful, right? Well, I'm gonna stay quiet for a, mo mo a moment so you can um, hear the music. In this house, you can find a peach cookie. And let's talk to the other villagers. There's an old man over here. Of all the why I oughta... Huh? Oh, Chris, what can I do for you? Uh, she's not Chris, she's Polka. Hanako, why are you so cute? Okay, Miss Tashiwagi from Persona 4. And let's go over here. Tenuta Village Flower Field. Very beautiful, right? Look at all of these flowers. And right here... There's a floral powder. Let's talk to these two children. Polka, a lot of flowers blossom this year. Yeah, and they're so pretty. I bet these will make great floral powders. We'll put them into nice containers. It'll be so much fun. Yeah, it sounds like fun. And over here, there is another item. Let's see if I can find it. It's over here somewhere, I know that much. It's on the far side of the field, according to the walkthrough that I have up. No, I think it's over here, actually. Let's see if I can find it. Yep! Angel Trumpet. These restore um, HP to a fallen ally. But for now... Uh, let's go back into the village. So beautiful. Look at all those flower petals blowing in the wind. Gosh, I love this game so much. It is just a work of art. And let's go into this house. Right here, because I think we forgot to go inside. Let's see. I finished cleaning. Maybe I'll go take a look at the flower field. Oh, that's right. I have to water the flowers. Yeah, that's a good idea. You don't want them to wilt. Alright, now let's go into Polka's house. I'm home. Welcome back, Polka. Oh, you must be exhausted. I've made some nice hot stew. Mom. 
come to you? Are you afraid to touch me? You used your magic in Retardando, didn't you? Why does everyone avoid me? Because they think they'll get sick if they touch you, even though it's not true. I'm living proof that it isn't true. After all, I live with you and I'm fine. I'm not afraid of dying from the illness, Mom. It's just, well, I'm just sad that no matter what I do, I can't make any friends. Polka.